hey, 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 it is time to see how much I was able to save in my sinking funds in the month of December 2023. And I am just now realizing, of course, <laughs> that I forgot to write down my November totals. So I am actually going to have to do that first. And this is the last sinking fund total video for <laughs> 2023. So that is amazing. It is insane that we are in January already. And yeah, just wow. All right, let me go ahead and carry these over and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. We started December with $7,702 in our sinking funds. So let's get going. Let's see how much we were able to add or subtract or whatever. Now, some of these funds I have eliminated, um, so they will be zeros, but I kept them on the list because they were on the list last time and some of them still had money in them. So, you know, that was November. That was before I made my changes for 2024. So we are going to definitely see a decrease with those few that you know, like I said, I eliminated and I took the money out. We're also going to see a significant decrease with Christmas because of that money is all gone. Um, so yeah, we will just kind of see how we fare with those decreases. And I know the angle and the lighting and everything is not the best. And I'm sorry about that. I still kind of need to perfect things with my setup. It has been over a year and I'm still trying to work out the kinks so I appreciate your patience I'm going to try to zoom in here as best as I can because this pen is pretty fine point so um you know I just hope you'll be able to see everything all right so in emergency we started with 1,300 wait this is prime <laughs> this is not emergency okay prime so prime we started with 180 we now have 150 70 90 200 so 200 in prime <clears throat> so that is plus 20 so let me know how you all are i am batch filming so if you notice i have the same shirt on and everything um that's why my mom is here watching my daughter for a little bit so i have some time and I am taking advantage of it for sure. Okay, beauty. So beauty, we started with 284. We now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 35, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. 154 here in beauty. And I did go and get my massage 154 and it was a mix of pleasure and torture <laughs> so I went and had a rain shower that's minus 130 body treatment it was like a body scrub body wrap and massage and <clears throat> because it was the rain shower the table that they have you lay on it was a wooden table with a mat maybe I don't know six inches thick or whatever my back killed me, you guys. By the end, I couldn't even lay back down. I had to have her finish sitting, sitting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had to have her finish while I was sitting up and it was such a nice treatment, but my back just basically killed me the entire time. So it, it ruined, ruined it for me, but, and you know, it was 200 bucks, <laughs> but, um, you live and you learn, right? Okay, so VK, we started with 735. We now have 5, 6, 7, 8, 50, 900, 9, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. 994 in VK. So that's good. And my husband and I were talking about this last night. And that's plus 259. 
we found out this balance is due March 8th and we owe $3,700 still. So $9.94 is just not going to do it. <laughs> so I need to step up my game with vacation savings for sure. Okay, subscriptions, we started with 205. I know this went down. We have 120, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9. 139. I did pay for my Supernatural subscription and that was 105. So that's why that went down. So 139. And then pretty soon, um, I am going to owe, it's minus 66. I'm going to owe for Amazon Prime, Amazon Kids, and Amazon Music. They all come within like two weeks of each other. But I already have it saved, so I'm not worried about it. It's just that, you know, it's a big chunk of money that comes out at once. So, all right. Now on to emergency. So in emergency, we started with $1,385. We now have $1,200, $300, $400, $5,500. $1,500. 20, 35, 1535. Always nice to see an increase there. So that is plus 150. And I'm expecting a lot of these totals to be higher because I was able to add a nice chunk of money into my sinking funds at the end of December because it was a magic month. So, yes. Okay, so debt. In debt, we started with 50. We did get it all the way up to 870, but it is empty now, you guys. I did make that payment. Um, and as I said in one of my prior videos, I am still waiting on the change. So however much the change is, that will also go towards debt. So I will let you know once I know how much that was. All right, medical, we started with 105. We now have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 2, 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60, 260. Nice. And that's because I finished a savings challenge, I think, or no, I think that's probably just because I added 260 in medical. So that is plus 155. All right, groceries. We started here with 95. We now have 20, 40, 60, 70, 5, 85, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 115 in here. 115. And I'm doing all of these on the calculator because I cannot math right now. So that's plus 20. Taxes. This should be a big one, I think. So taxes, we started with 32.85. We now have one, two, three thousand, one, two, three. So 3,300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 96. So 33.96 in here. 3396. <coughs> so plus 111 in there. Okay. First binder done. On to the next. All right, Penelope, we started with 129. I know I have a good chunk in here. So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 550, 70, 80, 90, 5, 600, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 24. Yes, 6, 24. And that's because I finished that $400 savings challenge. So 6, 24. But 
no worries because a lot of that's going to come out after her vet visit. <laughs> so plus $4.95 in there. Nice. Okay, household. We started with $185. We now have $150, 70 90 $210 to $25.30, $245. $235 here in household. $235. So that's plus 50. Clothing, we had zero and we now have $50. So that is plus 50. Car maintenance is where? Here, 136 we started with. We now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 86. 186 here in car maintenance. And I do need to renew my license, so the money is probably going to come out of there. 186, is that what I said? Yes. So that's plus 50. Holiday. We started with 115 in holidays. We now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 35, 45. 145 in holidays. That's plus 30. <coughs> and moving right along, gifts. We had 190. We now have 20. 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, to 10, 15, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 235. 235, so that's what, 45? Hey, look at that, plus 45. Okay, school. That's actually not on here, and I have nothing in there anyway. And family photos is not on there either. And I need a tracker for that, but I think I have about 60 bucks. Okay, so tummy tuck, we had 120. That was one of the funds that I, you know, eliminated. So we now have zero, so that's minus 120. Same with house, I eliminated that, so that's minus 145. Myself, I had zero, still zero, so that's canceled out. Sewing, same thing, had zero, still have zero, canceled out. Christmas, okay, so that was not in that binder just because the envelope was taken out. Um, Christmas, we had 358 at the beginning of, or I guess at the end of November, and I spent that all. So that's minus 358. And then Black Friday, we had zero, zero, zero. Okay. So let me go through and add these up and see what we come out with. All right, you guys, the grand total is $8,268. Yes, that is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and add up these differences here. So it looks like, if my math is correct, it should be plus 566. So let's do 8. 268 minus 7702. Yes! Love when things work out. So we were able to add $566 even with spending a lot of money, a lot of this money. Yes. This is amazing, you guys. If so, okay, so I just did a series of videos, and I'm sure you're gonna see them in the order that I filmed them. So if that's the case, by now you would have seen how much I saved in savings challenges how much I paid off in debt in 2023, and now how much I saved in sinking funds in December. If you are still questioning why this method works, or if this method works, why? Why are you questioning it? You can see proof right here in front of your eyes that it works. 
So now what I want to do is I want to go through and add for the entire year and just kind of see like what our total comes out to. I'm not going to add the starting or ending balance. I'm going to add the difference because if I add the difference for every month, I think that should be what I was able to kind of save, right? And if not, oh well, but that's what we're going to do. So let's just start here at December since we already have it open. So we're going to do 566. Let's flip back to November. Plus 947. And then I think, yeah, November was the last or the first month I used this. So the rest is in the other binder. We're going to start here at October. Okay, so October was plus 996. September was plus 731. August was minus 108. July minus 581. June was plus 516. May, oh, that was a good one. May was plus 1072. Oh, you know what? This isn't going to work because I took out the earlier months to make more room in here because it was getting too thick. April plus 440. March. Okay, March, the math didn't add up, but we're just going to go with what's here. Minus 344. And let's see. February. Plus 2312. Wowza, that's amazing. And then January, which again, January's not in here. So, ooh, yes, it is. Perfect. Ooh, January was minus 823. So it looks like 5724 is our total. So 5724 would have been like about what we added in seeking funds, I guess, in 2023. I don't know if that's accurate or not. You guys can tell me in the comments if I did that right. But <laughs> either way, we are ending the month with over $8,000 in sinking funds. And that's what matters. So once again, if you are on the fence, if you are still wondering, should I try cash stuffing? Should I try sinking funds, savings challenges? The answer is yes to all of the above because... This method is just absolutely amazing. Ren and I were, we recently did a, a live after Christmas and we, the word we used for this method is magical because it literally is. It is like, it's life changing. Okay, you guys. And I don't say that lightly. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not being sarcastic. I am literally saying this method is life changing. Okay, so if you are someone who cannot save money, who is struggling paycheck to paycheck, get yourself a budget. I have, you know, videos on how to do a zero-based budget, but you don't have to just check out mine. Of course, there are a bazillion videos out there. Any extra money that you can save, even if it is $1 a week, literally $1, even if it's a nickel a week, okay, put it away in a savings challenge don't spend it and you will see how those nickels and those dollars add up. I'm serious. You can find low, low income savings challenges. You can find free savings challenges. Um, you don't have to spend money to start this method. You don't need fancy binders or envelopes or anything like that. Just, a, you know, pen and paper for your budget, a pack of envelopes from the dollar store, and that's it. You can even make your own savings challenges. Like there are so much, so many options out there for you, but 
I encourage you, it's 2024, it's a brand new year. If you're still just out there watching this and you haven't started yet, take the plunge, please, because I promise you it's going to change your life just like it changed mine. All right, I'm going to stop rambling on now, but I just want to thank you all so, so much for being here with me. It's super exciting to see what we're going to do in 2024. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye.